Hey, I'm Jake. I play bass in a band called The Orphan the Poet, and this is my rig. This bass is my actual baby right now. It is a 1973 uh, Fender Telecaster bass, and they stopped making these a while ago. Um, now you'll see them in a different form, and it's more like a 51 reissue bass, but this one is specific because it has a, a humbucker in it, and it is gnarly. I got it in Nashville on Craigslist, and it has been my favorite thing. There's some uh, stuff that's been redone in it. I've got a new bridge in it, and I've actually got a new neck on it. Um, but the body and the pickup and all the wiring is original. So yeah. For strings, I use Ernie Ball Power Slinkies. That's for everyone looking at the purple pack. Um, I play really hard, so having a thicker string is like pretty crucial to us playing live. Volume is all the way up. Uh, and interesting about this bass, because it's got this gnarly humbucker in it, I actually have my tone knob almost all the way down to kind of give it a nice warm tone to fill out the, the subs underneath when we're playing. For picks, uh, I got the trusty the orange Dunlop, I think it's 80 or 60 millimeter? 60 millimeter. Um, I've used these for ever since I first started playing bass and I've never tried anything different, but they work great. I've got a pretty simple board right now. I used to have a lot more pedals on here, but I kind of simplified my setup right before this tour. First things first, I've got a picture of my dog um, that has been around the country so many times and it stayed on there, thankfully. And then uh, first thing in my chain is my wireless. Uh, I got an Audio Technica wireless and it's been super trusty. Um, I was recommended this brand and this model by the guys in Miss May I and they love it. So yeah, I went with that. And then the handy Chromatic Boss tuner. Um, that into my Burnley Bogner or Bogner Burnley um, overdrive pedal, which I don't use too often, but it's the best overdrive pedal I've used for bass. Uh, it's just the nastiest and gnarliest bass tone you could ever want um, wrapped up in a pretty little purple pedal. And then running everything, I've got the Voodoo Labs pedal power too. So yeah, this is my uh, this is my pedal board. Uh, and then actually for my bass cab on this tour, um, you can see we have these nice Janus cams, and I actually have a matching one of these. Um, but for this tour, I'm using this little Fender Rumble 112. Um, we kind of wanted a more symmetrical look, uh, so the guys have their two Janus cabs, and I just kind of sneak mine in the corner, and it's almost used as a step stool mostly for David just to get on top of our caps and stuff like that. But it gets the job done, and I can hear myself on stage, so I'm happy with it. Okay, so this is our uh, amp station over here. Um, I am in these rack spaces right here. I've got my uh, firm power conditioner into my uh, Sans amp, uh, just the RBI rack Sans amp. It's the same one everyone uses, and um, I love it. I don't touch any knobs, it just stays where it is. And then my Ashdown Mag 600 head, which they stopped making a while ago, but I have actually had this head for I think 10 years since I, it was the, the first purchase I made when I first started playing bass when I was a kid and I saved up money and it's traveled around the country with me and I love every second of it. If I this one ever happened to break, I'd probably hunt down another one on Craigslist because it's just my favorite thing. So with this uh, Mag 600 head by Ashdown, Ashdown's a British company and um, you see like players like, uh, I think the, the bass player of uh, Pink Floyd plays it and a bunch of other people. Ashton is just an incredible company, but it works really good for me because with our band I have um, kind of like I was explaining earlier, a really low, just like warm sound that you can almost feel more than you hear. A lot of bass players have these like really gnarly, like clanky kind of sound to their bass, but for me and what we play, I just want it like you can kind of feel it in your stomach when we're playing. And so the Max 600 has this five band EQ right here that kind of allows me to shape that tone in a way that you can feel it and still hear it. Um, and it's also got these nice little um, boosts on the deep end and the bright end, which I actually just have both. Um, but yeah, this Mag 600 head, it's like, it is a workhorse and it is the best. So, Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Jake. I play in The Orphan the Poet. Uh, you can hear our new single, uh, Still Buzzin', on alternative radio in your town. Um, and you can see the video on YouTube.